Welcome to Chickens and Gardens. These are our five lovely chickens. Uh, I'm not sure whether I told you a few months ago uh, that we actually had 10 along with our rooster and there were two baby chicks hatched. So uh, we had to give them away because there were just too many. And now we've got these five left. So as you can see, the our bigger one, which is light sort of orangey, a buff light orange. She's our Colombian buff, who is rosy. And these three of them, you won't believe, but these are our little chicks which we had earlier, which have grown so much. So one of them we uh, named as sunflower. The other one is flyer, and. This one here, which is slightly light, she's water. So we've all got hens now. We haven't got a rooster anymore. But they're still laying good amount of eggs, which is great. And these three still haven't started laying eggs. They are about 20 weeks old. And I think they might need another four to eight weeks till they start laying eggs. And these little chicks which I introduced have grown so much and they have started looking like big hens almost and are very healthy happy chickens this is our coop and last night we had to uh, clean the coop uh, because um, not it wasn't that messy but there was slight fungus growing on the chicken poop so uh, we had to change the whole um, the whole thing and just uh, get rid of everything and I've put new cardboards and uh, fresh new nesting boxes and they have fresh straw as well so my chickens are healthy and happy now uh, the most important thing which you got to check every season is um, whether the, the chicken poo is getting moldy if it is getting moldy then you got to clean the whole thing and get rid of everything you can't just pick that little thing and replace it with uh, with a new straw or hay because um, the the fungus or the mold in on one of the places in the poop can actually spread everywhere and because they've got spores and the spores can be really unhealthy uh, and really harmful for the breeding of the chickens the especially the respiratory problem they go through a lot of respiratory problems with fungal with fungus in uh, in the coop or anywhere so you got to make sure that your coop and outside area is uh, mold free and as you can see they are in here with me they have, they, they followed me and they, they are absolutely loving here since I've cleaned them now cleaning about the chicken coop it depends upon how many chickens they've got and the state of it basically I do not need to clean it if it's nice and sunny because they do not spend more time in the coop they spend more time outside in the run and uh, that's why the, the chicken coop stays clean but if it's rainy then they spend more time in the coop and if they spend more time in the coop they poop a lot in the coop and then it's that's when we have to uh, keep changing the bed bedding uh, every now and then very frequently and one thing about me is I do not like my pets or my birds restricting to the chicken run area. Although our chicken run is pretty big in size, it almost it's almost about um, twenty to twenty two meter squares altogether. It is pretty big. It is pretty big uh, for our five chickens. But I would still like to release them outside on a green grass. And they absolutely love it. Come on, girlies, come out. It's out time. Out, out time. And you will see now how happy they are. They are out of the chicken run for some time. Oh, just look at them. Just look at them. There's a, there's a huge bush just next to the chicken run and when they come out, they usually try to go under the, the bush and they love being under that bush. Not sure what they get there, but...
they like to be on this green patch. And they're very smart. They escape this little area as well. Oh, there it is. These are my daughter's toys. And you can see that behavior. You can see this behavior. They are a little bit scared and they're cautious and they're trying to think, oh, what is that? Is it something scary? Is it a predator? Because they've never seen those toys before and they're quite colorful and quite unusual to them. There's a little puffin and a dolly and you could see their behavior. And they're out there in the grass and we leave them out here in our big garden for some time about an hour every day in the evening and they absolutely love it only because there is no grass in our chicken run they've destroyed all the grass that i've put in the chicken run they are in our orchard and they love coming in our orchard because of the little berries hanging and they like to pick them but I try to shoo them away from here because they almost eaten all of my blueberries on these little plants. There are none left on this plant at all. Poor Daisy is stuck inside but she'll find her way out. They are my happy chickens outside in the garden. They'll be here for about an hour and they'll be back inside their chicken run. It's nice because they find lots of worms and lots of other insects which they look. She's finally escaped that little space of hers. There, Sunflower has caught a little butterfly. It's nice to give them a little space outside. And all these chickens of ours are very friendly breed. The dark buff ones, which are the, the little chicks which have grown, they are red stars, also called as Isa Browns. And that's one of the nicest breed, that is a dual purpose breed, which is a very friendly breed. So it's good for egg and meats. They are there on our veg patch, trying to eat my vegetables, my chard. And she's there eating my chart and they love these little treats I know what you must be thinking that they are destroying the wedge patch but they won't be here for long and that's why I've got to keep an eye on them to make sure that they are not destroying a lot I have to make sure that she's not eating my tomatoes. They love eating all these kind of different leaves. Those are geranium leaves, some grass blades, and they are like little treats for them every day. Rather than uh, eating just their normal pellets and seeds, it helps to, it helps with their balanced diet, and we get healthy, fresh eggs. Before she finishes all of my geranium, I got to shoo her away from there. Rosie is having fun eating all what she finds.
But that's one thing about my pets. I don't like restricting them to that little space of chicken run all their life. They need to have this space outside, at least for some time. I'm also planning to get some other pets, some other birds, but not quite sure yet which ones I must get. Only because of the things that I like about them, I don't want to restrict them to that little coop area. I also want to make sure that they can live with their chickens. Few ideas in mind. I was thinking about guinea fowls, I was thinking about quails, and I was also thinking about pheasants and partridges. Um, but I'm not quite sure which ones will happily live with our chickens. So I have to find out before I actually buy them. I was more into pheasants and partridges, but then I came to know that they are wild birds and can escape some time later once they grow up. And I don't want to buy them and restrict them to the chicken run area. I would like something like chickens I would like to leave them outside the chicken run every day so that they can have this free space and come back to their coop at the end of the day just like chickens do so I have to wait and find out which could be my other birds if you have any ideas please do recommend which could be the other best birds who could live with my chickens happily I was thinking of turkeys, but turkeys are too big and noisy, and that's another thing I was thinking. I do not want too noisy birds either, because of the neighbours around. So I'm thinking of something, quiet birds, who would happily live with my chickens. And try not to escape through the chicken run area.